So what were the challenges? I mean, was were these very hard films to make? Was there a lot of risk? <laughs> well, you saw the cove. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's arrest warrants out for me in Japan. <laughs> I don't know how much I have to say about more about that. Yeah. And there's probably a couple more Asian countries I can't go to after this or shouldn't go to. Um, yeah, there's a certain amount of risk, but I don't, you know, I don't, I, I'm more worried about the crew than I am myself. I figure I can deal with just about anything, but I just didn't, I remember when we were, we were making the cove, I didn't want to get everybody out because it was right around Christmas and I didn't want us to be in jail, with, you know, and then to have, be remembered forever as the guy that led his friends, to, you know, into the, you know, into a situation where they missed, you know, Christmas or something. But, you know, the, the bigger story is like, you look at, what we're doing right now, you know, where we're, let's say, what was going on in the cove, it's worth it to take the risk. I mean, we're just, we're, we're, the worst they can do is, you know, yeah, they could have killed us. There was death threats, but that's pretty extreme. I didn't really take any of that stuff too seriously. But yeah, I mean, if spending six months in a Japanese jail, I've had friends that have done that for stuff that was, you know, less egregious than what we did. Um, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But on the other hand, you take those risks and then, you know, then there's, you know, there's, there's thousands, we're, you know, there's, they were killing something like 23,000 dolphins and porpoises a year when we were, started the, that movie, now they're killing like 6,000, we dropped it, you know, 65%. I mean, it's like, there's tens of thousands of dolphins that we're saving that, you know, they'll obviously, you know, don't give a damn about a human being, but, you know, I, I know in my heart that's the right thing to do because the bigger picture, you know, uh, in, the, in the current movie, if we can save species, we're losing species now faster than, like I said, you know, mankind's ability to record that they're even here on the planet with us. To the risks that we took to make that film are minuscule compared to what the risks will be if we, don't do, if we don't act on it. Which was riskier, do you think? Were you doing crazy stuff in the second one that's similar to the first? Uh, I think the, I think the, 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 the current film is much more, to me it's much more exciting. It doesn't have a, a dark ending. I mean, the, the Cove was, you know, we had, I, I never set out to make a horror film, but I think we made one of the best ones. <laughs> uh, and I, but I hate horror films, I hated them growing up. I never liked, uh, you know, even the idea of a Hitchcock film would, you know, give me a nightmare. And I didn't know what it was about. I just knew that I didn't want to, you know, be scared like that. But when we had, when we had the footage from the Cove, I thought, okay, how do you make a horror film that you know people will actually go see. So I went back and watched, you know, uh, Rebecca, and you know, some of the you know the more obscure Hitchcock movies, trying to figure out how he did it. And he he was brilliant at, at creating suspense without revealing anything. I mean, if you look at the the shower scene in Psycho, you've never seen the perpetrator and the victim in the same frame. It was all done with music, and you know, the horrors in your head. We you know we we had like the I think it was voted the most. Uh, it was the best scene in a movie the year that we came out. It was our, our opening scene when you know, we get into the cove. Yeah. And that's like, you know, I'll describe it. It was like, you know, you see this green, this green water, the coral reef, and then stinging catfish come by, and then you hear motorboats. You don't see them, you just hear the motorboats, the fish leave, and then you hear the dolphins screaming, and then this is real. We didn't change a, a, a lick of color in it. The, the, uh, the water turns from green to red. Yeah. So, but in your head, people, you know, were like, "Oh boy, that's that's hor horrific." You saw fucking nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It was, it was all in your head. We, so we, we we did that with every scene. So you never see the harpoon go in directly go into the dolphin. You see, there's always water between it. But you've, you know, you fill it the, in. The, the, yeah. exactly, and people fill it in too much. I mean, the horror was just horrific. And what we did is we had stuff that was so violent that nobody should see it. They would have, you know they would have gone over there and, and killed those wow. people. But by using the stuff that was surrealistic and letting people use their imagination, it was far worse. It was almost worse. Mm -hmm. Wow, man. The Cove was influenced by Hitchcock. See, that's why we have these interviews, <laughs> because nobody would have ever known that.